I wanted to show you something that was kind of neat that Matt added to MRider, and it's the Ideogram API, which you can use the new version 2 and 2 Turbo and make some incredible photographs and graphics for you. But the lettering is better than any of them out there. So I want to show you the difference between using the dashboard versus using the API on uh, ZimRider. These images I'm showing you right now are from using the dashboard. I'm just going to scroll through some of these. And they come in packs of four. This looks really good. Which ideogram is the best, API or dashboard? I'm going to show you at the end of the call how I do the graphic images. Okay. Here's Johnny Rocket. The titles that I'm pulling from are actually what I'm asking inside of Facebook, inside of a poll, is what do you want to learn more about? So I took all those polls, put them in chat. I came up with a list of answers. So here's my prompt. Act like a professional copywriter like John Benson. I'm going to give you a screenshot of the poll. And convert it into a brief title. I use these titles and I created screenshots. And what I'm going to do with these screenshots is I'm going to use these as the YouTube thumbnail for training videos. I thought this looked pretty good. But you'll notice this is the dashboard that I'm using. So sometimes the wording is not exactly right. Out of the four, you're probably going to get three of them that are good enough to use. Again, how to leverage AI Master Sandbox tool. This is great. She's got something weird with her finger there, so I probably wouldn't use this. This one's pretty decent. Just check the spelling. All these are really nice. This is exactly like I want it right here, so that's a good one. Now, this is using the dashboard. I figured out that we probably don't need a coffee cup in outer space. This is some of the original ones that I did. I thought these are great images. I'm going to bring over and snag it. This is the fastest way to bring them over. These are ones that were created inside of ZimRider's AI image fault. So it's in the extra stuff down at the bottom. And I use the ideogram and the settings that I use, just to let you know, is I use the design. And then I put a graphic in here, a graphic image, a graphic prompt in there. So how I found the prompt that I wanted to use. This is the secret. I went to design. I know I wanted something like a 1950 sci-fi comic strip. I just started looking through here for things that I might like. And I would find a prompt and then I would use it. And let's see. I don't think I can find that original prompt that I had. Here's one with robots. You could use something like that. But I would come over here and take the magic prompt, come up here. And there's the prompt that you can use inside of your custom prompt inside of ZimRider. And I'm gonna show you what my prompt is that I'm using, and then I'll show you my ZimRider files. So you can see, write a prompt to generate an image with the text, and then I put this variable in here called title in the background of this graphic image. Describe the graphic image. This one is the lady, and this is the space guy, Johnny Rocket here. Okay, they were identical. I just came in and changed the description here. I got this prompt from looking at other ones inside of the dashboard. And if you just kind of look around, you can see different prompts that you can use. But that's how I found the prompt, the custom prompt that I used inside of ZimRider. Now, let's take a look at the ZimRider files. Go back into my images. These are the ones that I generated using the prompt inside of the dashboard. Now I'm going to come over here and show you the prompts, the images that were made inside of ZimRider with the same exact prompt. So this is the API method. The other is the dashboard method. And I'm inside of Canvas, so I just enlarged them in here. So let's just take a look at a few of them. These look pretty decent. The only thing is, is look at the hands. I'm using the exact same version, version 2, and this was a set of four right here. That one's not too bad, but it misspelled my company name right there. Okay, let's see Sandbox Secrets. 
This looks pretty good. Hands kind of goofy there, but it looks okay. This is nice. I, I like this one. How to leverage AI Masher's Sandybox tool. So <laughs> it messed up the wording. Out of the four, there's about two of them that I'd probably use. Amplify your reach. Amplify your reach. This is creating impactful blog amplifiers. This is a good one right here. All the text is right, the lady looks nice, and the cup looks nice. That one's not too bad either. Got some screenshots in here. Here's Johnny Rocket again. Crafting your perfect content. How to build effective article temples. Probably wouldn't use that one. That's good. But then you got this mess up there. AI yeah, master, master, master the AI HTML. I don't know what that says. Editor, unlocking AI Masher's newest feature. Okay, so we got that right, but this guy's got one leg, maybe the leg's down below. Maybe he's been in space for too long. Enhance your content, creating voiceovers, voice over uh, summaries, seamless exporting articles to WordPress. Some of these are not bad. You get the idea. The API is going to be catching up to what's on the dashboard right now. But you definitely need to run multiple quantity. I was running two and three. I think running four, you can find one out of four that are really good. Check the spelling. That's the biggest deal is check the spelling. I kind of got tired of seeing this messed up all the time. So what I did was I changed the patch and you can see it right here is, is that patch there is the USA flag. So my prompt was USA flag on the center of his chest. And then there's the text right there. But to copy this and reuse it, you just use this button here in the dashboard and then you change your text out and it gives you four new ones in there. But I'm using Ideogram 2 and style on this was general. Notice on the style, it's going to try to make it more like a photo versus if you use the design button, the design is going to make it more comic strip like this one. So this one I use design versus general. Hope this helps. I know this is just kind of thrown together, but I really wanted you to see the difference is the dashboard will get you about three out of four good ones. And the API at this time will probably do two to four out of good ones. What you should be doing if you're doing Zimrider is running more than one or two. So I'm going to bring up Zimrider just to get it, give you an idea. Is we'll bring it over here. Let's try that again. Go into AI Vault, bulk AI image generator, and then you would put your titles in here. And in the case that I was doing. Come back over here, grab these titles that I had chat write for me. So these are the titles that came off the image that chat scraped, okay? I scraped Facebook and I just did a screenshot. I put the screenshot in chat and it gave me these titles. Perfect. Now this is where I put in my prompt right here, okay? And I got this prompt from Ideogram. This is the only thing that I wrote different right here. Write a prompt to generate an image with the text title in the background of the graphic image. Everything else came from Ideogram, except for this AI Master logo. I'm not using these existing save prompts. He doesn't have it defined yet for just image prompts. Come down here, AI mo model. I use Llama. And then the image model, this is where I picked up Ideogram. And I used that one, the eight cent version. Come over here, make my aspect ratio 16.9. Magic prompt. Do you want it to enhance the prompt here? If you want some different variations, leave that on. If you lock your prompt and you don't want Ideogram to change it, turn it off. Okay. This is that style. If I want design in here, I'm going to get more of the comic strip. If I use general, it's going to try to get between photorealistic and a comic strip. If you want photorealistic, that's going to really try to put a real person in your image itself. The style I like is the comic strip, the 1950s sci-fi comic strips. That's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to hit save choices, 
Create AI images in bulk, absolutely. And then he gets this error here. I'm not sure about the subheading placeholders. I'm sure he's gonna come out with a video on that. And then you say yes, and it will create all your images. But, nope, I don't wanna run it right now. But this is where you change your number. Do you want four images from the API on each of the titles? Or do you want 10 images? If your cost is eight cents per image and you're doing 10 images per title, that means it's 80 cents per title. So I've got 10 of them here. That would be $8 to run this entire thing with this number of images. I recommend either three or four because you're going to get at least one or two out of the four that are going to be ones that you could use as your API generated images. But if you want to do them individually in the dashboard, you're going to get a little bit better images being made at this point. Now, it's probably going to change in the next few weeks or, or month so that the API actually catches up to what the dashboard's doing. But for right now, I mean, this is incredible to have this available to you to do screenshots, to do featured images, to do anything that you want. And the trick to all this, the secret behind everything, is where I started. And where I started was, I went over here, I found an image that I liked, here's realistic, and scroll down and find the one you like, and then copy that prompt. So this one would be good. This has a lot of text, and let's see what the, the prompt looks like. Here's the prompt. It's a graffiti style illustration. I'm gonna look at this. Instead of a comic strip or a 1950s sci-fi, this is very good. Illustration for the saying. And then this is where you would put your title variable in here. And he's using design, a 4-5 ratio. And this looks pretty decent. Find your prompt by scrolling the dashboard and finding an image that you really like that has maybe some wording that goes with it that you like. So hopefully everybody enjoyed this. I know this was just a quick video. I want to throw something up together so you can kind of get an idea of Ideogram. I love Ideogram. I've been using it for, well, since they had a special on it back in March, but it was version one. Version two is so much better. And you can just see just by scrolling down. And I'll even show you some other ones that we've been working on. You might have seen this one in the Facebook group. In fact, this is the one that I use right here. Bookmasher, we need your help. A photo of a woman. It was realistic. I'm using the ideogram too, one by one. And this is the prompt. She's wearing a white t-shirt with black logo. It says Bookmasher. She is smiling confidently and looking back at the camera. And here's in the speech bubble. Put it in quotes. We need your help. The background is a bookstore. I gave it everything that it needed, and it did a pretty decent job. I mean, well, all four of them look really good. So here's some other ones. You might have seen this one before, testing things out, and this was using the design mode of it. So it does wording really, really well. Just be sure that you actually spell check it yourself. You can see it does a really decent job, whether you're using the dashboard or whether you're using something that Zimwriter has created. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on another video.